here in City Hall in Limerick tonight. A lovely occasion here to, I suppose, recognise your achievements throughout the year as All-Ireland Champions. Yeah, it's great. We're delighted. Um, I suppose, as I said earlier, the support in Limerick has been unreal. Far more than what we've expected, like even before the match, but especially afterwards, I suppose. There's been such a good buzz um, with the hurlers and us winning. So um, it's a huge honour to be invited to something like this. So we're delighted with ourselves. I know John mentioned it's gained himself a boyfriend, I suppose, and Liam McCarthy. You've been going around with Liam as well. Yeah, and I suppose that is like everyone wants to Liam, but we're, we've been invited to all the places as well, so it's nice. And uh, to be fair, people have had a good interest in seeing our cup and meeting us as well. Um, so it's been great because I think both have contributed to the buzz around the county. So um, we've had a good old couple of months to, with them now. After being off two months of training and celebrating your back, which to me is madness before <laughs> Christmas, but how do you feel being back? Uh, I don't mind. We had exactly two months off. Uh, we went back in the 16th, so I suppose it didn't really feel like the year had ended because we were going around with the cup so much and like it was still all about last year. But um, last year, I suppose we started off badly because we didn't have a pre-season and um, that was a big issue for us last year. So um, we are happy that we're getting a pre-season this year and um, getting a bit of work in in Christmas and we might have a little bit of break then at Christmas. And I suppose the league can start until the start of February. So we'll have another good old run um, up to our first game. So hopefully the bit of work we put in now will benefit us when it comes to that. What is the plan for next year? What would be your main goal? Um, well, we'll target the league anyway first, um, definitely to get out of Division 4. I suppose we should have done better in it last year really, but as I said, the pre-season, the lack of pre-season and preparation beforehand didn't really, um, was, didn't really benefit us at all. So um, we'd definitely be targeting that, but I suppose it's just take one game at a time because I was involved in the team that won um, the league two years ago and also that got relegated um, the year before last so I know it's like even people will be saying there's like teams that you could easily beat in it but that's not really the case it's actually very difficult and I know before we won it three years ago the girls were trying to win it for about 10 years like so it's actually much harder than what people would expect. As an ambassador of ladies football now at the moment have you seen a change since this new 20 by 20 campaign? Um, I have, I suppose it's just even adding to it more so, like over the last year especially there's been huge things happening with Lidl and um, TG Cahards should are great, so the more things that can happen the better. And um, I've been seeing a lot on f Facebook and social media of girls who have done huge things, achieved huge things, but I've actually never even heard of them before. Like I think it was actually um, a golfer who came up my page the other day and I'd never heard of her. So it is great to get like more and more ladies sport out there, not just the GAA, but to get everyone involved is brilliant. Another night of recognition is this Saturday night. I know you're up for an award at the All-Stars. Yeah, should be a night out anyway. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> Best of luck and uh, hopefully you bring home a few more awards, Cathy. Thank you very much.